Good evening, everyone. We got more news to talk about. Let's go. Look over at V Shoujo's Iron Mouse because she addressed V Shoujo haters on a recent stream. She talked about people constantly replying to people hating on the company and hating on the people inside of the company simply for just being in V Shoujo. For example, people hating on Kaysan or Matarakan or others who joined V Shoujo now only hating them because they're in V Shoujo. Whereas before they were constantly supporting these VTubers and now they hate them. But here's what Iron Mouse had to say about. I'll say this. People are subject to change, bro. Matara Khan and Kaysan are doing what they like to do because they enjoy it. They don't need unnecessary slash excess baggage slash hate from people that quite frankly don't matter. If you're hating these people because they switch companies, you do not matter. Let's continue all of the v shoujo hate there there are some people that like have hated v shoujo for so long now if you've always hated v shoujo and now you hate matara khan because she's in v shoujo keep that same energy bro i would say hey keep the same energy i rather you look like if you already hated v shoujo and matara khan joins you fucking hate her too you might as well. You just might as well because if you give her special privilege because of where she came from, then you look like a bitch. I'd rather you be like a down bad hater than be a bitch, bro. Just say, yeah, man, I hate them all because then you a professional hater. And at that, I got to respect you. Literal look outspoken haters where it's like they leave messages on every single one of the members posts on every single Vishojo Twitter post. That is a professional loser. Like, shout out to the professional losers. Like, they, like, bro, if you're a professional loser, like, you get in some type of money from it, because I know some of these people are getting paid to hate. If you're getting paid to hate, you a champ. If you're not getting paid to hate and you just hate, you need to find a new hobby. <laughs> and it's been like that for, like, two years. And I'm just like, Jesus, the dedication. I'm just like, man, if this person dedicated their life to something positive, imagine the amount of, of wonderful things they can achieve. I'm like, shit, bro, you could have, like, cured a disease or, like, done so many projects. This is an old-ass video. She said this shit a long time ago. Why are we talking we're about not it now? Really like a traditional agency. No, right? they're not. They're and a sponsorship. To see people like they were like a fan of somebody, and then they join us, and then they're like, "Oh my God, no!" And it's just like, "What the? F it's the same person, bro." Nah, 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 nah. It is the same person, right? I get that. But if they already hate V Shoujo and then someone joins, I rather them hate them too, bro. Because if you are selectively hating people, bro, like, like, what, what is this shit? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. At that point, then you just complaining about nothing. Cause this is like, man, I hate V Shoujo. Oh, my Oshi joins V Shoujo. I love V Shoujo. Like you just look like a weirdo, bro. You look like a weirdo. I'd rather you be like, well, I hate my old Oshi. Now I got a new one. I'd rather you do that for real, for real. For real, for real, for real. I'd rather you just stick to your guns, bro. And be like, nah, I hate them. I hate them. I'd rather you do that personally. You said that you loved, but now because they joined our organization, you're like, trying to like justify create like these weird you're fighting ghosts man exactly exactly and that's what makes it entertaining let them do it that's the point that's what makes it funny bro every time i watch vtuber news i get to look at idiots be idiots in public bro like when they publicly be like yeah i hate this person because of stupid reason i'm just like look everybody an idiot it's so fun bro let them keep doing it why are you complaining like iron mouse is not even complaining she's just addressing it but it's like bro like i feel like i've heard iron mouse say this shit like three times already Literally, verbatim, verbatim too. Unless it's just the same clip and Kel's just like bringing it up again. Like, in, in their I could have sworn she said this shit like a month ago, if that. Every time like we get a debut, you see a bunch of people like, and it's like, yeah, it's funny. Like, I see comments like on Twitter. There were a few people that like the hate comment people that they post on every post. So I know who they are. Cause they professional haters. Cause I've seen their comments and they've been doing it for like two years, right? So Damn! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You telling me the past two years, bro, you've been sitting hating on VTubers. <laughs> bro, just show they face. Kyo, Kyo, show them. Show the profile. I want to laugh, bro. These people are so fucking lame. I just want to be like, hey, what's up? Thanks for being such a fan and remember for real. every day of your For future. real. For <laughs> real. Continue support because Cuz you low key supporting them. Every time you tweet at them something negative, bro, you're supporting them because people like me will see it and laugh at you and like Iron Mouse more. Like literally. Obviously, even though you're typing negative comments, and you've been typing negative comments for the past 2 years. <laughs> <laughs> Two years? Bro, in two years, bro, I have fucking moved across the world, built this awesome fucking channel, have a great fucking Discord, and you're telling me in two years all you've been doing is hating on VTubers, bro. Like, that's not even a job. Like, some people get paid to do it. Like, legitimately, some people get paid to hate on other people. It's called making content. Some people have made a profit from it, but you're doing it for free. Okay. To I'm each their own. By doing such a thing, you're here every day. Imagine keeping every, every day Twitter and and the shoujo on a tab on your browser and opening it and looking at it every day. Just nah. To comment something negative. Are nah. Nah. Like this is even worse than the people that do it and they do it for love. Like the people that are leaving positive comments. They're weird too. Like if you're leaving a positive comment every time, like as soon as Iron Mouse puts a tweet and you're like, go queen, like bro, you're kind of weird too, but at least you're positive, you know? Everybody likes that weirdo. Be the weirdo that people like, you know? I got a lot of weirdos in my Discord, link in the description, come join, you know? I like you. Like so far we haven't had to ban anybody, but if we have to, I'll publicly ban you. And then we'll laugh and then we'll keep on moving. Okay, so then I'm thinking about, I'm like, man, Vishojo's anniversary's coming up. I wonder what they're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> like, praying for our downfall. Yeah, this is an old video. Why is this video up, Kel? For years now, people hating- Why are you watching this old-ass video? People inside <laughs> Vishojo and people hanging the company for years. People instantly think anyone that joins Vishojo is going to start doing lewd content, and that's why they hate them, on top of many other reasons that honestly just- I feel like they're not gonna make lewd content Content. They're gonna have loot people around them, but I don't think that necessarily changes their content Like Henya's been part of the company for what half a year now or something like that Like bro, she's still Henya. I literally saw a clip of Kason giving birth and Henya is just there being like Oh my god a baby Dayo, but that's it Like she's still kind of pure Madara Khan had to teach her something earlier about BJ's like I feel like she already know what a BJ is You know what I'm saying? But Henya's still Henya. Even though she's learning lewd stuff, she's still, at least from what I've seen, she's still pretty much the same, just a little bit more, uh, a little more unsay so. I feel like that's the only thing you have to worry about. I don't think your person's, the, your Oshi is going to go from someone that's already not say so. Like, you're, you're not, they're not unsay so, but they're not like the say so is ever, right? And then they join Bishoujo and out of nowhere, they just become lewd tubers. Like, that's just not how that works. And if that how that works, that how that works for a specific person, bro. Okay? Madara Khan already had big old jiggly watermelons on, on in their past life. You see what I'm saying? So, like, it makes it makes no difference for K, uh, for Kason. Kason had big old gelatin watermelons. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes no, it doesn't change anything. It just changed where they are. The people that join V Shoujo don't really change who they are whatsoever. They continue doing the same type of content and doing whatever they want to do. I don't believe V Shoujo really limits what the talents want to do. They have creative freedom and can do pretty much whatever they wish to do with their content. But I feel like you wouldn't know this if you didn't watch them. Like, if you don't watch them, of course you don't know this. You probably think that they changed, but Modern Con is still the same. Giga, from what I've seen, is still the same. Henya, from what I've seen, is still the same. K9 Curl, from what I've seen, has let himself out more out of the closet, if anything. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, what is it, December? How many more? How many? How much longer till uh, somebody graduates from another place that we know of? 
let me know what you all think about that down below as we move on to some other news coming out for v shoujo that being that they officially celebrated three years of e shoujo last month on the 24th of november they really you know that's crazy it's only been three years bro this vtubing stuff is so young some merchandise for that so if you want to check it out the link for it will be down below congratulations Shoujo's haruka caribou and hinya also released an original song called umbrella which i will cool, leave cool. the link down below if you want to check that cool out. cool if it's fire put it in the thing all right what else we got on here let's take a look over at today's sponsor a agency by the name of zenith ve who have announced that they are opening vtuber auditions which will be closing on the 31st of december and let me say before they even sponsored this video the video we can get video sponsors for vtubing well, sign me up, man. Email, email. You know where to find me. Oh, that they had to announce their VTuber audition. But, but if you want me to look at your stuff, you gotta let me get my hands on it. Looked amazing, and I still think it looks wonderful. Here, that video is. We don't do free promo around here. Y'all gotta send me the bag to check them out. Thank you, Zen V, for sponsoring today's video. Moving on Shout to out some to them, we had Whole Life announcing their fifth festival happening in 2020. I ain't gonna lie. I thought I thought Hollow Live done had like 30 festivals by now. It's only their fifth one. Four. This will be a two-day event. They said, please enjoy your vacation to Hollow Live Island through stages, merch, food, cosplay area, etc. Hollow Life Fits Fest will capture the moment. We'll hold four stages, including Holo Honey. Don't miss our first multi-sided stage with a great video attached to it. So if you want to check out those tickets, those will be a multi-sided stage is interesting. Um, due to the fact usually all stages have like one one person for the the content or not the content the uh, celebrity and then like everybody else is just watching so a 360 stage I wonder how interesting that will really be if your favorite person is singing and all you see is their butt you know what I'm saying unless they got a nice butt and you know, whatever but, really yeah. dumb. but I guess for V2 it would also be interesting like a 3D hologram um, around the center area like is this a, wait is this an actual stage or is this some like vr chat shit well we did have some people pointing out some issues with this like whole live ian memes saying, streaming. streaming price for fifth festival crazy cost increase even for a single stage almost the cost of two days for the fourth festival i get inflation but like that's a steep ask for streaming this had chris oh so this ain't even a real life in-person event bro like whatever Cool. It's a whole of saying, considering right. they have extra time usage on the video. Uh, does it cost too much? Let's see. From 7,000 to... Steve ask for streaming. Move this your fucking cotton tail to 28,000. That's pretty expensive. Said Chris, the whole of saying, considering they have extra time usage on the venue for Holofest, I guess it's inevitable that the price will go up. Hell, the physical tickets for concert cost almost a red 10k yen super chat. We are basically sending Akasupas through Holofest at this point. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, bro. Whole life Ian memes responding back with, I know we're getting more stages, but it's also about three times the original cost most people can't afford or justify <laughs> paying that price, especially in this economy. It's not a great price. It's not. It's not. But due to inflation and fucking uh, like them increasing the price to try and keep their costs down, like, yeah, the customer is going to get screwed, bro. Like, yes. And guess what happens? There's going to be some whales that buy it, and then there's going to be some people that scalp it, and it's just going to go up even from there. Like, yes, it's going to be crazy, bro. Like, the stream quality is probably about the same. If this probably if this was going to be 4K HD, no technical issues would make it better. Bro, we can only wish. And yeah, I kind of get where they're coming from. The price for that is absolutely insane, especially when it's just for streaming and watching the stream of it. I understand why they would increase it. Inflation and all that. Things going up. The cost for running the venue. They need to pay for it. They're running a... Bro, I can't be the only one thinking Kel need to do something about this damn tail. Like, can, can you make it go to the right, bro? Like, your tail be covering up a lot of... Like, bro, this, I know it in, in, hind, like, in hindsight, you're probably not even thinking about it. But like, bro, look at this. This is the news, right? And your tail covers up like a, a corner and some shit. This is probably like 22%-ish of the screen gone. Can you make your tail go this way or put your character this way? Like, I don't want to tell you how to run your show because this is the Kel show, not the Sean show. You do whatever the fuck you want to do, perfectly fine. I'm just wondering, could we get the tail to go this way? That's all I'm asking. If it's a no, it's a no. If it's a yes, cool. If it's a no, it's a no, okay? It's your channel. I ain't gonna tell you what to do to your channel. I'm just asking, could you get the tail off the screen so I could, it like, it like, like, what if, what if I was looking down and then I looked up and I missed it? And it's like, oh shit, his tail's in the way, oh well.
And then someone's like, oh, well, you missed the one part. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. They, they could have maybe decreased the price a little bit. I don't think they're decreasing it. As in some other news, we had Twitch announcing that they will be ending services for Korean streamers and also ending services for viewers to subscribe to people on Twitch. In a translation Why? provided by Zach Bousset, it says, This morning, I shared with our community in Korea that we've made the difficult decision to shut down the Twitch business in Korea on Why? February 27th, 2024. We understand Why? that this is extremely disappointing news, and we want to explain why we made this decision. The cost is expensive and how we are planning to support those impacted. Ultimately, the cost to operate Twitch in Korea is prohibitively expensive, and we have spent significant effort working to reduce these costs so that we could find a way for the Twitch business to remain in Korea. First, we experimented with a peer-to-peer -peer model for source quality. Then we adjusted source quality to a max Bro, peer to twenty. Bro, peer-to-peer -peer is crazy, and lowering bit rate to meet 720p is also a crazy. Like, at this point, yeah, you might as well get rid of Twitch in Korea, because I'd rather have that than peer-to-fucking-peer. -peer. If you don't know what peer-to-peer -peer is, basically your internet connection, instead of going to a server, goes straight to them and then their signal comes back to you. So wherever the fuck you live, if you live here and they live down the street, good. If you live on this part of South Korea and you live on this part of South Korea, well, good fucking luck because there's no server in the middle of South Korea to ping it out to everybody else. Peer to peer is basically in Call of Duty, uh, whenever you see somebody run across the screen and you shoot them on their screen, they already made it past cover. On your screen, you see them. So when you kill them, to them, it looks like they just died for no reason. That is what happens when you have peer-to-peer -peer connection. P. While we have lowered costs from these efforts, our network fees in Korea are still 10 times more expensive than in most other countries. Ooh, ooh, 10? Oh yeah, nah, bruh. Yeah, I don't blame y'all. Hey, yeah, 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 hey, hey. All the Twitch people, all the Twitch Korean people, y'all might as well pack y'all shit, move to, move to kick or move to YouTube or something. Twitch has been Hell operating nah. in Korea at a Oh, you better move out of Korea, Korea put a VPN on. There is no pathway forward for our business to run more sustainably in that country. To all of our global communities, we want to make it clear that this is a unique situation. Operating costs in Korea are significantly higher than they are in other countries, and we have been open about this challenge for some time. Twitch. So basically, they've been saying, hey, we've been warning people that we might have to leave Korea. Like they were openly warning people, hey, we might have to leave Korea. We got to try and figure it out. Look, man, if you didn't prepare for this, I don't know what to tell you. Streamers in Korea. This is, this is like the same people that live on fucking island. And I get it. Not everybody can leave Korea. Not everybody can leave the island. I'm about to make up in my mind, right? But it's like you live on an island and there's a big ass volcano over there. And that shit just starts smoking. And everybody been like, yeah, it been smoking for like a couple weeks now or a couple months or even a couple years. It smokes all the time. That's normal. And then that bitch just erupt. And it's like, bro, the bitch been smoking like it's been smoking. Like if a volcano is just sitting there and no smoke, I think it's cool. OK, as soon as that bitch starts smoking, I'm leaving. Like, no, like, no, I don't give a fuck how long it's been smoking for. You asking for a disaster. Korea have devoted significant time and effort into building their communities, and we plan to help these communities find new homes, even if it's regrettably not on Twitch. We will work to help Twitch streamers <laughs> in Korea move their communities to alternative live streaming services how? in Korea. We how? are also reaching... Oh, y'all gonna partner with... Oh, actually, that's smart. That's way smarter. So Twitch basically... Basically, Twitch is leaving Korea, but they're going to partner with other stream brands that are already growing in South Korea. That's actually really good and really great for competition, and I love it. Reaching out to several of these services to help with the transition and will communicate. Get the bag. Effect. If you live in Korea right now and you got a decent sized audience, I want to say at least like a like 20 to 30 people show up to your stream, bro. You might have the ability to work your way into another company with a contract before they start getting this big funding. Good luck. Good streamers. Good as luck. Those discussions progress. So it's really disappointing news coming out from Twitch today. Oh, I've seen so many people. This is great news. People talking about this. So many this is great. Streamers really upset about this. And so many people. I mean, yeah, it sucks. You got to leave. But bro, this is fucking like you can literally move to a new platform right now. And just tell everybody you move in there for if you have a big audience already, this doesn't really matter it's just more of a speed bump like damn this is annoying i gotta redo my taxes blah 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 i gotta redo this i gotta redo that stuff but all you gotta do is tell everybody to go over there and you're you're seemingly good you're gonna have a dip in your audience because people aren't gonna want to leave twitch to just watch you but your korean audience that are already korean they're gonna move there anyway so 
If you're a small Korean streamer, this is great too because now you get to move to, move to, a, move to a new platform early. Move to that platform early. If you're already a small Twitch Korean streamer, Anyo Hase, yo, wake the fuck up. Go to that platform now. Set your stuff up and just stream there already. So the small people that are already there, because there's going to be people that hear this news and they're just going to go check out these other streaming sites now. They're already checking them out. So go ahead and go over there so you can be the one that catches them when they go looking for somebody. And then by the time the big person finally moves, because you know the big people are going to do it last. The big people that are lazy are going to do it last. The big people that are smart, they're probably already moving their stuff or they've been planning on moving and they've been telling their people, hey, I'm going to move over to whatever this is. So if you're a small streamer in Korea right now, if you know a small streamer in Korea that or a small streamer that's Korean on Twitch, tell them they should just start moving now so they can get a head start. Good luck. People upset that they aren't even going to be able to subscribe to other Twitch streamers in the actual. Yeah, that's that. That's 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 where you got a VPN. If you just watch Twitch, you get a VPN and you probably already have one. Blog post it says users in Korea can no longer purchase Twitch products such as subscriptions, subscription. OK, that does suck, though. You can't get. It. OK, that does suck. Gift certificates, bits and turbo active subscriptions that auto renew are set to never renew. Users in Korea who watch monetized channels from streamers outside of Korea will no longer be able to receive gifted subscriptions purchased by other users outside of Korea. So you can't even get gifted subscriptions, which would make it. They basically trying. They basically are stopping the process. They are stopping the process at this point. Yeah, you guys. Good luck to you, all future streamers, uh, all Korean streamers. Good luck to you. I do hope things go well, but um, I do see this as a semi win. Like it sucks for you guys, 100 percent. But if Twitch is literally putting money in other streaming platforms, they literally might accidentally create a competitor, which is great because if Twitch has a competitor, that means Twitch will shape it up. Twitch only has kick really as a competitor and YouTube is just hanging out. Kick, I think they're they're working on getting set because they already signed a bunch of people, right? These Korean streamers, they might come up with something in the next five years, next eight years. Keep your eyes open. You never know. People say every time a door closes, a window opens. Jump through that fucking window. Ads go away, so you're always going to have ads on Twitch if you're watching inside of Korea. So please just let me know what you all think about that down below. At I already did. As well. Sorry for releasing such a late video. I wasn't able to get into my office today because I got locked out of it like an idiot. I wasn't able to get into like a couple hours before this video was up, so, uh. <laughs> Stop locking yourself out.